Sharks Big Surprise, written by A.H. Benjamin and Bill Bolton. If you would like to buy a copy of this book, the link is available in the description at the bottom of this video. Shark had sharp, pointy teeth. He looked scary. Everyone hid from him. It's not fair, he thought sadly. No one wants to play with me. One day, Shark had an idea. The idea kept him busy all day. When he was ready, he left the old sunken ship where he lived. Shark lurked behind a large rock. Soon Octopus came along, his long arms splish splashing. Shark pounced! Got you! he snapped, and he put Octopus in a large bag. Help! wailed Octopus. Shark swam off. Shark hid inside the thick seaweed. Soon Lobster appeared, her sharp pincers click clacking. Shark pounced! Got you! He snapped, and he put Lobster in the bag. Oh no! cried Lobster. Shark set off again. Shark slid into a dark cave and waited. Before long, Turtle paddled by, his large flippers flip-flapping. Shark pounced! Got you! He snapped, and he put Turtle in the bag. W -w 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 What's happening? stuttered Turtle. This is going well, thought Shark. Next, Shark hid behind a sandy mound. Jellyfish wobbled by, her thin tentacles swish-swashing. Shark pounced! Got you! He snapped, and he put Jellyfish in the bag. Let me out! said Jellyfish. Shark had not finished yet. He slipped into a deep hole. Soon starfish crawled along, her spiky arms blip plopping. Shark pounced once more. Soon starfish was in Shark's bag. I think I have enough, said Shark, holding his bag full of fish. Oh, I'm so hungry, he said, setting off for home. Shark's going to eat us all for lunch, jellyfish cried. But what could they do? Soon, Shark was back at home. I'm so pleased, he said as he emptied his bag. Everyone was terrified as they tumbled out. It's the end of us, Lobster wailed. Suddenly, Shark turned around and said, Surprise! I made it myself and I wondered if you would like to share it with me. You gave us quite a scare, said Octopus. Next time you want us to come round for cake, you could just ask. The end. I like that story. I hope you did too. I'll see you soon in the next video. Kids always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy more stories at Dixie Storytime World on YouTube. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app.